Hi, hello to everyone. Our topic for today is how we can use XLOOKUP and uh, link pictures to create a dynamic picture that changes whenever we change our selection in the data validation listing. So this example is the invoice. Let's say we have a description here. This is our product name. And whenever we select our products, the item picture would also change accordingly. So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So before we start with the actual tutorial, there are several items that we need to remember. First is we need to have reference table. So our reference table should have our product name in this case, and then the picture, and then any other information that you would like to be included in the table. So the picture, you need to have it in a size that can fit in a cell. So it should be inside a cell. So this is already an Excel table. I already converted it into an Excel table by pressing Control T. And then you can choose the design that you want. Converting this range into an Excel table is not critical, but it will tell later why helpful in this scenario. Next is we need to create name ranges for column. Then third, we need to have data validation list. Fourth, we need to link pictures. Five, we need to create XLOOKUP formula. We need to create a name for the picture in which in where we can link the picture to that formula through the name range. And then lastly, to select that pick and rename that picture with the name that we just created. So we'll go through those steps one by one. The first that we need to do is we need to create a name range for product and picture. So those two are very important. The other columns are not as important as these two. So what we can do is we can highlight these two columns here. And we will create a name range for those two columns by, the, by their top row. So we'll go to formula, create from selection, and then let's use the top row. What happens is that name range is selected and the name that is assigned to that column range is their header names. So we have here product, and then we have here picture. If we open this one, so the name range is referring to B3 to B9. So the full column. Next is we will create the data validation listing for the product list. So we'll go to data validation list and the source name is we can press F3 and we'll select the product list. Click OK, then OK. Now all the product that we, that's included in our name range would be in the list. The next step, we would like to copy cell. Let's copy this one first, the banana cake. Don't select the picture, but select the whole cell. So in this case, we are in C3. So control copy and go back here. Make it a point that the size of the cell is identical to the size of the cell that you just copied. So let's just go home and we will use the link picture. You can also go here and you select link picture. We already have the link picture, but if we change our selection of the product, it doesn't change yet because it's not yet connected. But this cell here, if we take out the banana bread picture, this picture also changes because this is linked to this cell here. So we'll just put it back. Next, we will create formula. An XLOOKUP formula, so equals XL tab, and then we will look this value, and then please make sure that you lock the reference by pressing F4, or you can add those dollar signs. So our lookup array is on the product column. So just have to hover at the top of those uh, column names, product, to select the whole column. And then our return array is the picture column. So close parenthesis, enter. That is our formula. Now we will create a name formula using this XLOOKUP formula that we just did. So copy that XLOOKUP formula, go to formula, name manager, and click 
new. Create an, a name for this. Let's say item 1 and paste the formula on this area. Control V. Make sure that the cell reference is locked and then the product in the picture and then we'll just click OK. Then close. Let's select this picture here. We will provide this picture a name with the name that we just created, which is item number one. Let's delete this formula equals. You just have to type the name that you just created and then it will appear. So item one, enter. Now you can see it already changed. So we'll just delete that next look a formula that we just created. If I change my selection to banana cake, that also changed. If I change it to apple pie, that changed. If I change it to cookies, that's also changed. To create another item, uh, you just have to copy. Control C, Control V for the data validation list. Let's just move this away. And we'll copy this one here. We'll use the same steps, but there is just a slightly different step that we will need to take in terms of naming another range for this. We'll copy this as a link picture, control V, and then you can just select link picture here. So it's very important that you copy the picture as a link picture. And then after that, we'll create another XLOOKUP formula. We'll create it outside in this cell, XLOOKUP, and we will reference this cell. So make sure that you press F4. Meaning we are locking that lookup value. Our lookup array is the products the column, comma, and then a return array is the picture column. So close parenthesis, enter. Now we will create another name item inside the name manager. So we'll copy this formula. Control C to copy. Go to the formula, name manager, new item. So this is item number two and paste the formula here. Control V, make sure that it is locked with dollar symbol and click OK, close. Now while select this picture here and then we will assign the name item two that we just created. So we'll highlight this one equals, type in item two, select it. So now this change to banana cake, let's change it to egg pie. Let's change it to croissant. Let's change it to Kobe Pangisal. And we can see it it's now changes dynamically. Now, as I've mentioned earlier, running this into an Excel table is not critical. But if we're going to add additional items in the future, then it would be a great help. So let's say we can add here, okay? Click tab. So since this is an Excel table, if we type anything below it and then we click tab, it expands. Then we will place our cake photo inside the cell and we'll just create the price for it. Let's say 20. We just added, let's see if it's all included in our selection. So we can see here, cake is already included. If we click cake, now it's, it's dynamically added or automatically added in our selection. So that's basically the importance of having an Excel table with our full range. And one more benefits of having this in Excel table is you can choose the design. So if we go to design and then we select a new design, let's say this one here, you can see that the background also changes. If you don't want any background, that also would reflect. If you want something new, that also would reflect. So depending on the design of the table, that design will carry through to your picture because a picture is linked to your table. So thank you for watching and see you next time.